I mean, I watched the Adams Family growing up nonstop. Oh, oh, who didn't? Right. I mean, I, I, I watched the black and white version. Yeah, John then, Aston played yeah, Tom as Adams. You, I loved it. Yeah, right. And and then when they did the movie, mm -hmm. that was phenomenal. And right. uh, here mm -hmm. I am. And now the TV show. Yeah, yeah. Which, which is, like I said, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those generational things. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's a continuation, to me anyway, mm -hmm. of a family legacy, which is what the Adams family is. Right. And there you are, and Catherine Zeta-Jones plays Morticia Adams. Nice pinstripe suit, too, Louise. Come on, man. That's pretty sweet. Is that your own? You brought your own wardrobe to the equation right there? Uh, no, I, <laughs> I, I wasn't good enough to bring my own wardrobe. Sorry. But we, no. had, uh, we had an incredible team mm -hmm. of costume designers Amazing. and tailors. I mean, they built that suit for right. me. And did, have you ever been in anything? I'm looking at your filmography. I'm thinking the answer is no, but I'll ask you any. With Tim Burton, is this the first time you ever no, worked with him? No, it was the first time. I was actually in Cardiff, Wales. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got a phone call mm -hmm. saying, uh, Tim Burton wants to speak to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim Burton? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he, we Zoomed the next day mm -hmm. and said, hey, man, doing this thing about the Adams family. And uh, I'm, I said, like, oh, wow, cool. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen next. And mm -hmm. he said, uh, I'd love for you to play Gomez. <laughs> and I go, for you, real? You're right. <laughs> right. Really? Yeah. And I go, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. And I I got the script. Mm -hmm. I read it. The writing was incredible. You know, the, the, the thing about this Adams Family, it's not about slapstick. Mm -hmm. You know, the writing mm -hmm. is so good. It's so funny. Yeah. The delivery, and it makes it funny. Yeah. And, and that's what, that's, that's really what sold me. And then the history of the, the character, John Aston, Raul Julia, right? Yes, yes. And Luis Guzman. Yes, sir. Pretty cool. Yeah. 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 And Tim Burton's uh, vision as well. I mean, is he, I mean, uh, is he on something? Or what do you think? Oh, man, he's on, he's on like some kind of creative juice all it's the a, time. It's something, right? Oh, yeah. And, and you know, look, <laughs> it's, 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 Tim Burton has done some of the most iconic out there Crazy ass, like what kind of movie? Batman, the version of Batman. Two of them. Right, exactly. You know, Edward Scissorhands, which is something that he really wanted to do and he had to fight for. Beetlejuice, right? Did Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. I love that movie. You know, um, and um, like I say, he he's a genius in, in yeah. his own right. And for him to be inviting yeah. to me, uh, and he's a really cool, he really really down to earth you know i thought i didn't know what i what to expect the mm -hmm. first time that i met him yeah i said oh, one of the guys man no kidding one of the guys is he a yankee fan too or no i don't i didn't ask him that. you never we, did because you're a yankee fan right? i'm a yankee fan all my life what'd you think of judge this year what'd of who aaron judge this year oh aaron judge man i'm really happy for him um you know he he's good He's really good, dude, man. The the sixty something home runs this 62 year was, home was unbelievable. And uh, just watching. Um, it. I've I've met him a few times. Okay. Sweet, down to earth, really, really good human being. And you met him, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. I hope he stays. Uh, I think he, he is going to stay. He better stay, because then you know, I got to go back into my old closet and. <laughs> Get my bachanga wardrobe and roll up on him. I said, come here. We got to talk, buddy. You know? Oh, but no, no, uh, listen. He's a great athlete, but he's also a great human being. So so now, are you from, where are you from originally? What's your what's I was your born in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Grew up in New York City. Where in New York City? Uh, we lived in the 60s. It was great because in the 60s, we lived in the West Village. Mm-hmm. And in 1970, we moved to the Lower East Side. Mm -hmm. And then in 1995, yes, I moved to Vermont. And I still live in Vermont. Vermont? Yeah. Why'd well, you choose Vermont? Where did that come from? Because I used to hang out in Vermont. It was a cool vibe up there. Mm -hmm. uh, we had we had adopted four children, had one of our own. We had five kids. Didn't see these kids growing up in the city. Mm-hmm. You know, um, 
and we moved up to Vermont, and we had a farm, and, you know, everybody learned how to ski and snowboard. Sounds like a reality show. Yeah. Well, actually, they tried to do a reality show on about the Guzman's? Me, uh-huh. On the Guzman family. It just didn't pan out. You know, I, I, I just wanted to protect my family and sure. privacy. Okay. You make your own, like, uh, syrup up there? And maple stuff like syrup. That? Matter of fact, we'll, we'll send you some maple syrup. Yes. Okay? And my daughter. And I don't mean to, I don't take that as a threat. I mean, no, I, I want are you it. kidding me? Okay. You know, and and my daughter Luna, she does honeybees. So yeah. You're not doing that in the Lower East Side, are you? No, we're not. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, sometimes on the Lower East Side, we're dodging other things. But um, no, we'll we'll send you guys some maple syrup. Okay. That's a promise. I gotta have it. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free. 